Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be working on this 10x10 Ultimate Survival Starter Castle. So it's pretty cool. It's definitely something that would be great for a you know an ultimate survival base or whatever you'd like to use it for. Could also just be like a little you know uh, addition to your world and a little outpost, whatever you want it to be. Let's get a a look on the inside as well yeah so this is what it looks like on the inside it's pretty cool um, very compact and has a lot going on in it even down here yeah so it's uh, it's very very cool now let's just go ahead and jump straight into it uh, first thing I want you to do is I want you to pause your screen and mimic this shape right here and then uh, let's get out of that there we go. Whoa. And then next thing we'll do, ignore my dog, by the way. I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this five blocks straight up and we're going to do that all over. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to just come in here and actually not right there. Um, we're going to just add spruce planks all across the floorboard just so that we can get the right height in here. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that rain. There we go, and then we're gonna come to this tower right here, and we're gonna go one block below, just like that. All right, then we're gonna come around to the back side right here, and we're gonna go one block over from this tower right here, and knock three blocks out like that, and then four blocks up, just like that. And then we're gonna come in here and do this little shape, leaving a window hole right here, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna add in the towers. So with this one, we're actually just gonna take it one block up right here on this corner, just one more. And then we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna take this one, two, three, four, five up. And so we can just go ahead and fill that right on in. Just placing everything. Just like this. Perfect, and then we're gonna come over to this one and we're gonna go eight blocks up so one two three four five six seven eight and then we're just gonna fill it all in yeah so this is a really quick build you should be able to fly through this in your survival worlds and uh, it's perfect for if you're getting started or if you're just wanting to add a little you know outpost on its own or just do you know you, you gotta gotta imagine this is like a knight's area or like a, a lord's place or something like that pretty cool though Okay, now we're gonna get the gate in here. So we're gonna go two blocks up, or three blocks up, and place a stair there, just a stair there, and then fill this little gap in right here. And then we're gonna go one block up from where these stairs are, right here, place those down. And then we're gonna do a half slab here, half slab, and then full block and full block, just like that. Then we're gonna come right inside and, or actually outside, and we'll place a door and make sure that these are facing the same way, connecting like that. And then we're gonna do a trap door just like that. And I guess you can use any type of trap door you want, but I like doing this because it gives it this uh, unified look as the uh, with the doors and whatnot. And then actually I forgot to do this earlier, so let's go ahead and toss these stairs in there <laughs> just because I meant to have you guys put that in there beforehand but yeah now we got that nice little archway going okay next thing we're gonna do is put in some windows so every one of these we're gonna come in with just a spruce fence gate and then a spruce trap door above it and let's clear up that weather again it's always raining on this place I swear and then we're gonna come over to this side and we're gonna knock out these bad boys right here do the same thing Bruce fence gate right there and then we're gonna fill this in with or this window right here with cyan stained clay just like that and then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're just gonna start putting in um, some stairs on all of these so any area like this we're just gonna start throwing in kind of a ruined look to it and there's really no rhyme or reason to how you place these you just want to do whatever feels cool and uh, interesting for you um, and then so we'll go around and we'll do that in any area like this all of this will, uh, we'll get it as you can see from over here and then um, and then we'll just kind of go on top and start throwing in a little bit of half slabs and some stone brick walls so you can go through and do that on 
throughout the whole area around here and on the back side as well and right there okay so now we've got this cool little rundown look it gives it a it's, it has a good feel because it, it looks like it's kind of run down but it also feels like it's you know structurally together so that's what I like a lot about this and then we're also we're gonna come in here and we're gonna mimic that exact thing um, on this tower at the top of um, the tower on the corner here so let's just go in and again no real rhyme or reason to this just whatever you think looks interesting and uh, just have fun with it do what you want to do and uh, make it your own there's no perfect way to do this we're just trying to give it a nice little rundown feel perfect so just like that and then we're gonna come in here with the spruce slabs and make sure it's a slab because it's gonna matter on the inside um, you come in here and we're just gonna fill in the top area so that we have a roof going on and that will divide everything up for us just like that okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and oh, looks like we're gonna need that right there okay so we're gonna come in and we are going to work on this tower so we're gonna place a stair on the inside just like this and then we're gonna put the stone brick wall in the corners and looks like it's about to be nighttime set that today and then we're gonna put a spruce plank on the corners where those stone brick um, walls are and then we're gonna do an upside down stair just like this on the inside and then we're gonna put spruce trap doors on all the corners here just like that and then on the middle we're gonna take it one block up just like that and put a stair on top of those oh, there we go and then I can't remember which way I had it facing yeah. so then we're gonna put a stair facing inward towards this stair right here just like that and then we're gonna have one block coming up just like so one block higher and then we're gonna do a fence gate or a, uh, a fence two blocks up and I need a pot let's grab one of those bad boys forgot we needed one of these things and we're gonna put a pot right there gives it a nice little cap just like that and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna knock out this flag here we got the blocks so we're gonna go with white wool and then we're gonna go with light blue and you can do whatever you want here I decided to go with light blue because um, we had that um, I know this looks like cyan but these colors are extremely similar when you see them so I decided to go with that and um, that's how we're gonna do it so place light blue just like so and then down and I'm kind of just trying to mimic it here but yeah then we go one block out further just like that and then one white wool and then we're gonna do one that's just kind of hanging just like that and knock those two out and then boom you have your flag and now we are actually gonna knock out this right here and pop a couple windows in so that's just one block below these uh, below the stair here just like that and we're gonna put in fence gates and we're actually gonna put in a bell as well so we get a little bell tower been doing this a lot and I think it looks really cool adding a bell tower to, uh, to your well, we want it right here actually and you can go ahead and just pop a trap door in there to cap that just like that so now we got our little bell tower and that right there is actually the structure of the build so we've got it all worked out this is how the actual full structure looks but now we got to come in here and we got to do some detail because this is obviously there's obviously some differences from here to here so let's go ahead and start adding those okay so this is a 10 by 10 castle so i want you to remember that and if you want to keep it 10 by 10 that's totally fine but if you want to start adding some things like these that protrude out and add a little bit to it that is fine as well we're going to go ahead and do that so first thing that we're going to add is we're going to add a little horse stable just like that just enough for one guy nothing crazy not going to go you know insane with it we're going to come in and just add spruce trap doors just like that and spruce um spruce fences sorry I can't speak today and then we're gonna come in with something kind of weird I don't know if you guys have seen this but 
we are going with campfires for the roof. And so they all start off lit, but that being said, you just come in here and you place down water and go ahead and knock all that out. And then we just come in and grab it all back up. And you're left with this super cool looking, if the water would ever go away. Oh, for a second I thought it was getting stuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you're left with this really cool looking roof that looks like um, just kind of some piled timber. All right, then we're gonna come around to the right side of this wall here, and we are going to throw in a fence right here. Or actually, no, sorry, I take that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I take that back, we're gonna go one out just like that, go three up. And then we're going to take it three up on this side as well and one fence right there. And then we're just going to go in with trap doors and uh, we're going to fill the roof in for this bad boy. And this is just going to be a little storage area and uh, knock this one out right here. Don't need it there. Yeah, so this is going to be a little storage area just right here. And then we are also going to knock this out and we're going to place a spruce door just like that. So you got a nice little overhang and then we're going to come in and we're just going to pile up some um, some chests, some crafting tables and some barrels. So when I'm doing this, I usually like to start in the back with um, with the barrels just because the, the chests are smaller than the barrels. So um, in general, you set things down that have uh, more weight to it on the bottom. Um, and so that's why I have always done it that way. And then uh, you can come in here and actually just pop in a um, uh, crafting bench like that and maybe even right there and maybe one more just like so and yeah and now you have a nice little pile up that's got a nice little overhang and uh, you got some storage and if you need a crafting bench you can come out here and do your thing okay and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go around and start adding a few things and one of those things is some bushes and this is something you don't want to overdo too bad because it can get pretty dense actually let's just add that to the back side there it can get pretty dense pretty quick so you just want to add it in um, kind of sparingly just add a little addition make it look a little bit more lively and uh, when there's areas that don't have a lot going on um, just throw a bush in, you know, no reason not to. So it, it can give it some some cool looking life to it and, uh, and not take away from the build. And then the next thing we need is we need some, some lighting. So we'll throw a lantern in right here. And I'm a big fan of the lanterns. And then um, you can just throw one sitting on one of these barrels, no problem at all. Um, and then let's go ahead and put a little flower pot right here and a lantern right up there. So we now got, you can already start to tell there's a little bit more life to this build. And actually I forgot to add this. So this is a cool little trick. Um, I know it looks a little weird just to have some trapdoors right here, but this is meant to represent somebody who is coming in and swinging out a, uh, um, a little cover for this area. Uh, it's it's kind of like the windows, um, you know, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's meant to cover the window. So you have to imagine that this rolls this way and covers up the window. And it's a cool little addition. And then we're also gonna throw a trap door at the top here so it's got a little bit of an overhang when it is open. And that is perfect. So next thing, we're just gonna go ahead and, actually I need the barrels here. We're just gonna do that exact same thing we did at the bottom here. We're just gonna pile up some barrels and some chests and crafting benches and we're just going to throw them all down here so you have some storage at the top and again no real rhyme or reason to this just whatever you think looks good it's also nice because there's no real way to get up to this tower that i put in this build so now you have a way <laughs> to get in this if you did want to and oh something else i forgot is we're going to need to pop this out right here and we'll make this a stair and then also need this to be spruce slab and then we're going to do a little overhang for this bad boy as well I need that. thank you very much all right just man it is always raining jeez so we're just going to do a little overhang nothing crazy this I'm gonna make the face the same way it's pretty important there we go just like that and now we got a nice little overhang actually 
should have known that this is going to be out here. Just like that. That's better. So yeah, get a little overhang to it, and then you can throw in a lantern right there, so it's hanging from that. And you got a little overhang at the top, and now it's really starting to come together a little bit. Alright, so now we have the shape completely done. This is exactly like this except for the fact that this looks a lot better and I'll tell you why. So right here, we're gonna come through with cobblestone, some stone and some andesite. And then at the very base, we'll do some polished andesite. But we're just gonna do a lot of intermixing with this. So we're just gonna kind of start and, uh, and add a little bit of cobblestone throughout this build. And there's really no crazy, perfect rhyme or reason to this. We're just gonna dot it throughout. Um, but the one rule of uh, rule of thumb that I follow here is I go through with cobblestone more towards the base, um, a little bit of andesite towards the middle, um, and then stone is more towards the top because the way that I view this is we have stone oh we have stone bricks is what it's supposed to look like, and then you have stone which is when it's been kind of washed down and site when it's really starting to come apart and then cobblestone when it is actually falling apart so that's the order that it goes in so things tend to hold together better more towards the top the base is when they really start to struggle so at the very base we do a lot of cobble and then um, towards the top we do a little bit less so just go ahead and go through and follow that rule of thumb and start to make it look a little bit more like this Okay, so if you did it right, this is about how it should be looking now. So you got it nice and texturized, and uh, it's nothing crazy. You know, you don't have to go crazy with all these, uh, you know, elaborate designs or anything. You just get this really cool textured, a uh, little bit rundown look to the place, and it really brings the place to life. Last thing we want to do for that is I like to add this little, uh, this little base block. And keep in mind, uh, this is rundown, so. It's okay to not do this for every block, and I guess we could just do it here. Yeah, and we're just gonna throw it in, kind of sparing. Oh, not the horse, <laughs> kind of sparingly. I guess we're not gonna hit that one. And bring it all around, and just throw it in as you like. Again, not every block because if it's run down, even the base block will be a little bit messed up, and that'll do it. So now you have this really good textured look to the place and I actually totally forgot to oh dang I there did not mean to destroy that let's grab a stone stair throw that right there and then oh actually nope we need a half slab I lied yeah, half slab right there and then we're gonna throw a trap door on it and hang a lantern from that as well so now we got that little light up side the front and we're gonna go inside and one of the first things I want you to do is we are going to just fill this in right here and same thing on that right there and then we're just gonna start placing a few things here so we want to get a few different blocks going um, so you get this little um, this kitchen area going and then we're gonna put a double wide painting right there spruce stairs right here with a scaffolding in the middle so you get a little seating situation going and then we're gonna do a little setup for um, for a cabinets kind of uh, cabinet kind of thing and then we're gonna bring it together by basically doing just trap doors just like that you get a wall to it and same thing on this side like that and then we're gonna do one right here as well so now you get this cool looking cabin uh, cabinet situation going and then we're just gonna actually bring it up one more I if I can get it nope that's not it gosh how do we get this because I gotta be shifting <laughs> oh wait what? there we go okay yeah we got it we're good and then we're just gonna bring it across the top and cap it right here as well so just like that and so you got this nice big cabinet area and then we're gonna turn over this wall and we're just gonna fill this in with trap doors and that way you get this nice little situation 
and it just looks like a little shelving area and then you can do this as well so we're going to put some stuff right here and you want to knock these out so that there is actually um, uh, an area where you can set something down on it just like that and then we can even pop a little flower pot in just like so and let's see let's get these sea pickles in here as well and you can toss some of these down right here and you can do as many as you want but I'm gonna go ahead and do a decent amount and then um, oh, come on. oh that's that's why okay yeah so we'll drop that down just like this and then put a little bit of cups up there and drop a flower in here as well so now you got this little lively looking area and let's go ahead and get some water in this thing too and then we're gonna do a little bit of a carpet situation so I wanted to go with the same blocks that we did for the outside where the carpet is there it is so we're just gonna come right here and we're just gonna do a little checker pattern just like that and that's it right there so very cool looking and then we're gonna pop a spruce stair if I can find it spruce stair right here and you can do whatever you want right there but it just looks like another shelf we're actually going to dig down here and we're gonna build this little area and uh, just clear out a little bit of space First thing we'll do is we'll just put a flooring in, just like this. And in your worlds, you'll be able to dig down farther so you can do whatever you want here. But then we are going to come through with the oak logs and we're just gonna fill this in, just like that. And then we're gonna knock these out. like that and go ahead and knock this out and don't worry about this that is totally fine and then we're just gonna fill these in with barrels so this looks like a little oh, just one or two so this looks like a little wine cellar because these look like barrels that are just lined up but in a survival uh, in, in a survival world this is a storage room so you can come down here and do what you need to and yeah, so we have this little setup, and to cover these up, you can just pop these bad boys. Just like that. And problem solved. So, you have this cool little area. And, yeah, and then let's go over here. And make this wall. The same. And then we'll pop in some ladders this and these bad boys with the lantern on it as well so now you got this little area all set up and it's really cool for a little survival base and then we're gonna come up here into the tower area we're just gonna pop a spruce stair right there or no spruce stair right here my apologies and then we're gonna put one or we're gonna do a bed right here so there's not a whole lot of room to be super picky about where the bed goes, and that's where we got to do it for this one. Let me set the time of the day. There we go. And then we're just going to take a ladder all the way up to the top here, just like so. And then we're going to add in some trap doors. And you don't have to do this um, exactly how I am, but it does make things a little bit easier when you do. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this down a little bit as well. And we'll do a stair on this bad boy. You can find it. There it is. Just like that. And, or just like this. To get some extra room in there. And then we're just gonna add in some trap doors. So, we're gonna do one right here. So you have a little flooring. And remember, try to do these the same way. And then we're gonna knock that one out and pop that in. And this actually goes up fluidly. So the trap door is no problem. And then we're gonna add another one right here. I'll have to knock this out. Just like that. And see now how you've a platform for that. And we're actually gonna pop these in right here. 
just like so. And come down here, and we're gonna pop in another one right here, little area. And you can fill these in however you like, but don't worry about cutting out the ladder here. Um, and then, so right here, we're gonna pop in a cauldron with a bush. Or we need some leaves. Oh, is that in here? Yeah. yeah. So we'll pop in a bush right here. Oh, that's supposed to be one higher. Or it's supposed to be right there. There we go. Um, and then we're gonna grab some chests and put a chest right here, along with a little flower pot whatever you'd like to do and then we can pop another flower in there just like so and then you can even pop in some barrels whatever you want just keep it interesting keep it nice and full and then right here let's pop in a I don't know if I can find it I'm constantly digging through here let's pop in a little armor stand just like that and actually let's put it right there and then we can add whatever we want to it this definitely brings it kind of alive so put one of those bad boys on there and one of those and then we can just pop in a little painting on this wall let's do a two wide there it goes and we can do a little chest with a lantern right there just like that and now you got this cool little tower situation so you got your bed you got a little armor stand you can put whatever you want on here if you want to put your perfect set that's you know all more power to you but yeah this is the setup guys so we got it all finished up and uh, let's just do a little tour starting from the outside so let's walk on up and oh yep forgot to that one how did I fix this on the last one? Oh, we did a little bush there just covers that bad boy right on up um, and you can do the the coarse dirt around this as well we're not gonna pop it in for here that's just to kind of immerse you but um, but yeah you can just course dirt coarse dirt around it helps out the situation a little bit but you walk up kind of looks like a knight's keep or something and uh, you just got a nice little uh, kitchen situation some cabinets seating uh, carpet painting you come down here and you got yourself a little cellar with uh, um, with a wine cellar oh well oh, that's right you guys can work that out <laughs> but yeah you got a nice little wine cellar here and uh, and then you can come up here and you got a cool little tower situation that has your beds some storage um, an armor stand some paintings and you can even pop another painting in there if you want to just to make it a little cooler and then you come up to the top here and you got a nice little lookout. And also, oh, one thing we did forget, let's grab some ladders here, is on this tower, and you kind of have to just live with this right here, but um, there we go. Yeah, you got a nice little bell tower right here. Yeah, so you got a nice little bell tower you can walk up to, and if you have, um, you know, a villager, um, a villager place, you can ring that bell anytime that you need to bring the villagers in. And yeah, so this this is a cool little uh, starter castle. You can do pretty much anything you want with it, and you can obviously keep expanding on something like this. But yeah, this is a really fun build for me. I just wanted to share it with you guys, and you can let me know what you guys think, and if you have any other ideas or challenges that you want me to kind of tackle just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i'll see all you beautiful wonderful people in the next episode